Hey guys, let's test the stabilization on the Sony ZV-E10. All right, so I'm out here at my local Arboretum and we're gonna do a, uh, a test of the stabilization on this. We're gonna do um, no stabilization, the optical, and then we're gonna have the active steady shot, which is gonna have a major crop. We're gonna see how bad that is. And then also I'm gonna do a, um, we'll show you the difference between um, non-stabilized, we'll stabilize in software, like my editing program, and I'll also do in Catalyst Browse to show you the difference between them. What we're gonna do is, I have some bugs here, so <laughs> forgive me for swatting. Okay, so right now, uh, which way are we gonna go? We'll go this way. Okay, so this is just me walking as careful as I can. Uh, I'm, on a, I'm on a small tripod holding it in front of me. So this is just regular, um, just regular walking. Okay, now let me switch this over and let me turn the, um, the steady shot to on but not active. Okay, so now this is the standard um, steady shot. So from what I'm seeing, I can't tell if it's any better or not. Um, I'm just trying to walk as normal as I can here just to see. Um, just to see what we get. Okay, so what do you think of that? All right, now let me stop and let me switch over to the, um, the uh, active steady shot here. Okay, now this is the active steady shot. I'm holding in the same distance out, so you could probably see it cropped a lot on me. But from what I'm seeing on the screen here, it does look like it is more stable, but it's cropped in so tight. I mean, I gotta go, like that's as far out as I can reach, just to get it as wide as I can. Um, I am on the, the, uh, the kit lens right now. The uh, 16 to, was it 16 to 50, I believe? So, um, but at a comfortable holding it, it'd be about like this. So, I don't know, is this any better? Okay, let me switch back to the regular ones. Okay, so now I'm back on the, um, I have no steady shot at all. So this is just straight out of the camera, no stabilization whatsoever. I'm trying to walk as normal as I can. Okay, so now let me switch. So right here, this section here is gonna be edited in my video software with the standard stabilization at most like your warp stabilizer. Now you're probably gonna notice, like I said, I can't see it now, but I just know how the editing works. Um, look up here in these corners here. The corners are probably all wobbly from the software trying to correct it. Okay. So now this part here, we're gonna go back to regular. Just so you can kind of get another comparison. Okay, right here is where I'm kicking it in and we're gonna do this part will be stabilized with Catalyst Browse. Um, so you could probably tell, again, I'm talking about future me here because I haven't edited this yet, but knowing how Catalyst works, this probably should be super smooth. And uh, there'll be a slight crop from what we had before. I will put the percentages on the screen, what the other editing was, uh, how much it cropped, as well as how much the catalyst did. Typically it's gonna be about a 10% crop, but I'll write that in here. So you guys tell me down in the comments, what do you think? Um, what do you, what is your preference? Did you notice a difference between the, um, the regular, uh, the no, no stabilization, the standard stabilization, or the, uh, the active where it crops in a lot? Or um, what do you think of the, uh, the warp stabilizer versus the, uh, the catalyst brows? I know I definitely like the results from Catalyst Browse. Um, the downside is it's going to take you a few extra minutes to process the footage. So if you're not doing a whole lot of walking and moving, it, it's not that big of a deal. But for me, I do like the results, so I'm willing to put in the time for the type of videos that I do. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Definitely helps me out. I'd love to have you subscribe if you're while you're at it too. So stick around for a lot more content and uh, we'll see you guys next time.